Here we have a Corvette, and we're, what we're going to do, it's a C4 model, it's got a six-speed, and we're going to show you how to take the shifter off. So what I do is I take a little screwdriver here, put it in there, you can just pull the clip out, very easy. What a lot of guys fight with is they fight with, there's this thing in here. It's very, very difficult to get out. A lot of guys, they take the roof off, they pull really hard, they use uh, a lot of different tools. What I do is, actually, if you can see, I'm going to get right in there, it's... Uh, there's a lip sort of on each side. I'm going to come around to this side. It's very hard to see, but uh, a screwdriver will actually go under it on each side, as you can see. And usually without damaging the boot, if you put the screwdriver on each side and you just press, you can uh, you can pull it up. Right now you can see it's pretty tight. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can... Uh, if I can get both screwdrivers in. Or actually, it's moving now even, just like that. It's a soft sort of steel. There we go. It's coming up. Just like this. I can almost wiggle it with my fingers. I can see it's loose. There we go. And I got it. So just like that. And actually, I'm going to show it to you guys here. Uh, that's what it looks like. So it looks like a little bit of a, a, a T, I guess. There's, there's a good shot of it right there. And then once you got that piece off, all you have to do then, you can look down there is you just turn this counterclockwise and the boot will just thread off just that easy and that's how you take the shift knob off a ZF transmission in a Corvette C4 just like that that's it done now we're going to show you guys to get out the center console this one and this thing has a, a cracked lid as you can see and it's uh, it's got a crack there so we want to change the center console. So what we're going to do is if you pull up on this, it'll unclip. You can see in there, screw in there. We're going to open up the center console. We're going to pull back the mat in the center console. And there you have one screw there, one screw there. And you're going to take those off with a trusty uh, socket. I, I don't know if the video will pick it up here, but it's 732. Um, or actually, sorry, 932. 932 is the size I use. So you just undo these screws, just like this, one, two, three, and uh, it'll pop off. Now I have taken the three screws out uh, that we've talked about, but uh, if you look at it, it's actually quite loose. It's almost ready to come out. Uh, I wonder if I can get some flash on in here. Uh, I guess not. Uh, there we go, focusing. But what you have to do is just take off the door because you'll notice part of the center console actually just clips and it just hangs up on the door. So once we take off this door, it'll pull right out. Okay, I've undo the, undone those uh, three screws. I showed you guys, there's one, two, and the other one was right in there. Uh, it does hang up on the, the center console. So what I've done is there's just four screws right along there. One, two, three, four. And once you undo the center console, you can see it'll come right up. And actually this piece of plastic is what was hooking under the center console. So now we can actually just lift this out, just like this. Uh, there we go. And there the whole thing is loose. And then we can just take it out and just be careful to disconnect your wires. You can see there's wires under there. And that's about it. Just comes up, center console out. That easy.